Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 21st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. So we're finding massive support at the 50 moving average. We also tested the bottom of the Bollinger Band here. So it's both the bottom and also the 50 moving average. And we rallied all the way up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, did break a little bit above and then pulled back. So if we manage to um, close above the middle of the Bollinger Band, then we are most likely going to head towards 4,200 or probably towards 4,400. That is most likely where we are heading to. Uh, it doesn't look, look like there's any appetite uh, for breaking down towards the 4,000. If we were to do that and uh, broke the 4,000, we could head all the way down to the 200 moving average. But still, the 50 moving average is holding. And every time we get towards those levels, buyers come in and basically pressure this price up. And uh, so if you look at technical negotiations, they are fairly bearish still. Uh, MACD is uh, rounding off here and will most likely cross the same line within the next few trading days. Uh, Stochastic is still bearish, the CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here. We fell towards the bottom of the... Uh, of the bullish band also at the 50 moving average where we bounced and then we rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected there so we did not stop above and that uh, it would have been more bullish if uh, we did stop above there technical indicators are still very mixed uh, macd is bearish stochastic is bearish cci is um, is also in bearish territory and the rsi is bullish at this point uh, break above the middle of the bullish band and a closing above the middle of the bullish band could open the door towards roughly 30, uh, 34,700 or probably to 35,000. So to the downside, 50 moving average is holding and has been holding for a very, very long time now. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has uh, most to gain from uh, this um, technically horrible month for 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 tech stocks especially. So um, the talk of inflation has been uh, fairly devastating for this market. It has been constant. Um, and um, at this current stage, it is kind of baked in. And so uh, you don't see the same uh, pullbacks that we saw here due to inflation uh, expectation and and inflation fears technically but uh, this was a very bullish day we're up more than two percent and we are um, we are closing above the 50 moving average and just underneath the middle of the bullish band so if you look at technical niggas for the nasdaq they are not very bullish yet but they are uh, very encouraging so the MACD is uh, still in negative territory, rounding off here, and looks like it's going to cross the signal line within the next few days, and that's a bullish indication. Stochastic has just crossed as a bullish indication, and uh, CCI is still in negative territory, that is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So break above the middle of the bullish band could open the door to 14,000, and probably also higher uh, than that. So let's look at the German DAX. So as you can see, we have rallied above the middle of the bullish band and we are trading right at 15,364 at this current stage. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is still underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bearish. CCI is becoming bullish and the RSI is also bullish at this point. So it looks like we are heading towards 15,500. Break above there, that could lead to um, rally up towards 16,000. Break below the middle of the bullish band that could open the door to the 50 the moving average down at the 15,000 give or take that's around this area which has been uh, been major support in the past so let's look at the UK FTSE so as you can see we did break down towards roughly uh, 6,926 and then we rallied it created this um this is a very very bullish hammer here and at this current stage it looks like we're heading towards uh, 7200 
and break above there, well, that could open the door to 7,500 and beyond that. So this indice has not recovered fully from the decline uh, prior to the coronavirus. We can see that how far this basically fell and it has been struggling to uh, catch up with the uh, with other indices like the dax nasdaq and so on which have long gone uh, broken above its previous highs here but technical indicators they are also fairly mixed for the FTSE. stochastic macd is still bearish as stochastic is bearish cci is becoming bullish and the rsi is uh, well is fairly flat at this current stage a breakdown from here, well, the 50 moving average has offered several times now massive support. So let's look at the China 50. So as you can see, we did rally yet again today. We we're up zero, uh, roughly 1%, and uh, this is becoming more and more bullish. So if you look at MACD technical indicators, you can see the MACD is bullish. Stochastic is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. CCI is bullish and the RSI is also bullish. So uh, we are trading roughly at 17,654. Um, next target most likely be 18,000 and then 19,000 and then all the way to the very top. It looks like the 200 moving average offered massive amount of support. So if we were to break uh, down from here, then the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential right underneath here should offer quite a lot of support as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.